both of the culprits are dead. Uh, Roy Bryant, J.W. Milam died of cancer. He died first. That's the oldest brother. Uh, Roy Bryant, I don't know what he died of, but I do know that for all intents and purposes, he was blind. He had, both of them had such a hard time after the trial, they became outcasts, really. They really bore the mark of Cain. After the trial was over, they were dismissed along with all the rest of the trash. And uh, instead of being local heroes, nobody wanted anything to do with them. They went into truck farming. I saw all of this produce on the lot, and I had my car to stop, and we went in, and the fruit was so beautiful. And I had a, a basket of stuff that I was buying, and somebody recognized me, and they stopped their automobile and came to where I was and asked me if I knew that was Bryant, Milam and Bryant's produce market. And when they told me that, I just put my basket down and left. Uh, no explanation, just put it down. I wouldn't have spent a dime with them. And yet, I'm happy to say that I haven't spent one minute of my life hating and plotting against those two people. I was really able to put them in the hands of the Lord and let him deal with them.
leave, then it was time for me to leave too. I could hear the verdict at a safer distance because had it, had the verdict been guilty, we would have been in danger. Fire these uh, pistols and the little uh, pellets would pop. I'm telling you, I sweated every morning going into the courtroom. And the daddies would hit themselves on the leg and they would laugh and they would bend way over. And they would say to one another, now isn't that cute? As we would leave the courtroom for various reasons, we would encounter uh, the reporters. And uh, we would also encounter the townspeople. And every day when I left that courtroom, I was threatened. And uh, even the cameramen were threatened. <laughs> 